Hello, in today's video I will show you how to use GPT Builder, so the new GPT Builder that OpenAI released just last week, actually four days ago, and how to use it to combine the power of GPT for Vision and DALI 3. And this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide. I will build a new custom GPT together with you using a GPT Builder. And just to give you a the idea of what I'm going to do, I've created this uh, image converter in which I give an input image and I want to convert it into, in my case, uh, let me just show you, uh, kid-friendly illustrations. And so that's the image I've given. And then I just said convert to start the process. And uh, my book illustrator, my custom GPT started working in steps and then it's converted into this robot. But I gave it like more requirements uh, because I want the images to be very close to the original image only. I want to change style. It kept like thinking about it, uh, refining the description for DALI. Then it came up with this robot and then it kept working until, until we got this final image, which is very, very suitable for three year old kids, which was my requirement. Just so you know what we we're about to build. This is the transformation that into this very, very friendly and much more adorable, adorable version of the same robot. And I will provide this uh, guide, this written guide in the description for free. It's all for you. Just, uh, you know, you will have to go to this link. I don't want anything in exchange from you. I just want you to take it and build something amazing on your own. Please do share in the comments what you're building with your custom GPT in your preferred style. Your style will be unique, but the steps will be the same, only um, you will have to like define your desired style. And for me, it's illustration that three-year-old kids will love. And then I've got those placeholders where you just in a pre-step, you have to define what you actually want. Is it anime? Are those some paintings or anything? I don't know, there are so many styles and uh, your creativity is the only limit here. So, and of course you must be a plus user. So GPT Builder is so amazing. It's worth much, much more than this 20 bucks that they want you to pay for it. First step, we just go to the chat GPT uh, and this is the new look of chat GPT. And you go to explore and then create a GPT. And you will see this um, this interaction window in which and uh, this GPT builder asks you what you actually want to build, what would you like to make. And because we're already here, like GPT's editor, if you see GPT's editor, so I just copied this and I paste it here. But this desired style, I need to just say illustrations that three-year-old three kids will love. Um, so I paste it here and I paste it here and press enter. And GPT Builder is thinking right now, it's preparing the role and uh, so it will take a few seconds. I will be back once it's finished. It's working pretty slow today, but I've got the answer. And it's in the first um, iteration, it always uh, comes up with the name. And that's what's also here. Uh, and what, that's why I say in step five, create a name. And it says Kido Canvas. This name isn't that important. Uh, you can always change it here later, like in this name. And uh, so let's say it's fine. And in the next in the next step, the GPT builder usually creates the profile picture. And that's why I said create a profile picture, but it uses DALI 3 
you can see it's generating profile picture it's using DALI 3 to do it and on the preview side what's already updated is this an art an artist transforming in images into child friendly illustrations so that's already updated and if you look in the configuration this description is exactly the same i don't know why the name isn't updated but I'm facing some issues, but you know, the name isn't that important and you can always just change it here. And then we're waiting for the profile picture. It's just being generated. So, okay, it's created something like that. I'm cool with that. It's updated here now. Uh, how do you feel? And oh, it's good. Again, it's something you can play with, like you can refine it as long as you want. But the most important part for me is the actual um, functionality of this and what exactly should the ChatGPT focus on when transforming images for children's illustrations. Um, I will not answer these questions anymore because what I want to show you right now. So the most important right now is the step seven is ensure that GPT works in steps and go to configure and provide instructions. Just uh, to show you again, like this, when, once it was converting, it worked actually in steps. It was step step one, analysis, step two, cartoon version, and then the prompt, and then step three, and then step four. Okay, so it worked in steps. These steps are crucial and I will give you them as well. So I've prepared the, the steps. So that's how I actually prompted uh, my GPT in order to create these illustrations. But what what's important here, uh, because you can provide these steps here in this create tab, but it usually converts them into these instructions somehow. And this is actually the prompt instruction, the, the system prompt. It's like custom instructions. So this place is actually the most important one. And I just want to paste this directly here. And I will do it like this. And again, there are uh, several uh, placeholders for our desired style. So I will uh, just um, copy this desired style again, desired style, um, and replace illustrations, desired style in second place, and then uh, no more, or maybe one more. No, it's all good. So, but I, I need to refine what's here. Let me just delete all these things. So I just keep the first three lines and then I provided these steps myself in the instructions. And right now I can, here in this preview, I can always test already. So the step eight is like, um, optional so maybe there is something that i'm missing about the style that you want to create so just ensure that you provide additional instructions and then it's time for testing and refining let me just go through these steps with you again so and the steps are crucial and i've provided four steps and i'm i want this uh, gpt to work in a loop like uh, to iterate itself so first I wanted to describe the image and you analyze the input image. So I'm using GPT for vision to analyze the image. You analyze the input image and create detailed description of what's on the image. Your description in your description, you pay attention to the characters on the image. You describe in detail how they look, what they were and what they do. So let me go back here and just find our friendly robot maybe the unfriendly robot actually and say convert just to you know start the interaction and i'm sending this uh, image and in step one it 
says analysis of the input image. And then in step two, creating a new version of the input image with DALI 3. And why? Because in step, two, in step two, I said you use this description to create a cartoon version of the input image with DALI 3. The cartoon version must be suitable for three year old kids. That's again in the step two, you must say what you actually expect. And let's see what's happening. Okay, it's generated the cartoon. No, sorry, I went in. Okay, in step two, it's created a new robot. And this new robot is different from the from this one, but it's definitely more suitable for small kids. And it says uh, in step three, image analysis. And that's also important. Step three, it says you analyze the image you just created. You rate one to 10 in it based on two criteria. Does the image suit three-year-old illustration for three-year-old kids? And then the second similarity to the original image. Are the characters the same? Does the generated image represent the same as the input image? And that's what it does. So criteria one, suitability for three-year-old kids. And it says 10 for 10. Similarity to the original image, it says 8 for 10 because there are some slight differences, like there's no phone. And then in step four, it's adjusting the description. And because in step four, I said, if you rate both criteria 10 to 10, 10 out of 10, you are allowed to finish. If not, you adjust this, the image description and go back to step two. That's how I create this iteration. And I say, you must continue going back to step two and generating images until achieving a 10 out of 10 rating on both criteria. And then I say, let's work step by step. So again, in step four, it's uh, adjusted the description. And then let's proceed to step two. So it went back to step two and it's analyzed again and again, like, is it for three-year-old kids? 10 out of 10. Similar, nine, nine out of 10. And it stopped after that. And this process is now complete. So, okay, it's not working perfectly, but we went from this robot into this one. And which one is more suitable for three-year-old kids? You know that this one is. So again, right now you can test and refine. I could like follow up with trying to get then on both criteria uh, so that I can actually follow up. So it's back to the step four and further adjusting of the image description and it's um, generated a new description and it's back to the step one probably it creating images so you know it's not working perfectly but it's really really good for um, converting images so again we went from this one through this one into this one and let's see if my follow-up has worked okay I don't, I really don't like this one, but what does it say? 10 out of 10. Yeah, again, GPT for vision is great. Not perfect, not really how I would rate that 10 out of 10. Uh, I mean, I showed you the other one. Uh, so this one was really awesome, but because of this creativity and randomness of GPT models, you know, you can't expect great results every time, but I hope you get the idea of what's possible right now. And I hope that you actually like this example and you will take it. Like I said, I'm giving you everything that you need to create your own in your own style. If you don't know about the principles of your style, you can check out my previous video. I guide you step by step how to use ChatGPT in order to get those principles. And again, in this 
step nine, I said test and refine because it is always a process. You need to iterate, you need to work with ChatGPT and other GPTs and DALI in order to finally get what you actually want. And that's why I will like end this guide at this point. I'm not going to try to refine this instruction even more because that may take really long time. I just wanted to give you the, a blueprint and I wanted to encourage you to try it out. That's why I did this live demonstration and not just you know, I didn't just go through this working example and showed you what I did. I wanted to show you like how I'm doing it live. Take this blueprint and create amazing images in your own style and share it with us in the comments what you've created. I'm really, really curious what you're creating with DALI 3 and GPT-4 Vision. So thank you for today and I'll see you in the next video.